Absolutely, man. Chag taking losers finals with a 3-0 very dominantly. Chag. Yeah. Chag. And uh, looks like we're going to go into grand finals now. Between Spargo, Spargo and Chag. Chag. Yeah, two players from Mexico. Top three was actually... I like just uh, almost forgot I forgot who we were just playing. It was Omega Rugo also from TJ. Yes. yes. So top three so far at this or at this tournament has been uh, Mexico. Yep. Yep. And it really shows. It's kind of giving uh, San Diego a bit of a wake up call. Listen, we got to do better. <laughs> so we're uh, Mexico's a good pressure. good region, man. TJ especially too. All right, let's see what happens. Losers, or uh, grand finals. I'm sorry. This is, uh, they've played a number of sets already at this point, not necessarily in grand finals of tournaments, but they've played in tournaments across the states and Mexico. I think uh, last time they played was uh, Sky Fest to the Sky, went to game five. So let's see if uh, Chad can do it here. If it does get to game five, he's gonna need to win the set so that he can reset and possibly win the whole tournament. Great Nair to get, the, to get Cloud even further off stage. And as, he, as she keeps hitting Cloud, it's gonna continue to burn his limit, but Ooh, going for a potential edge guard situation, but now she is in disadvantage. She needs to get back to center stage if she's going to think getting another hit. She can hope to get another hit on the bottom. <gasps> and just like that, Spargo gets wow. that soccer with a nice forward smash. Absolutely. All right, gets a grab right here. Wow, the side B using to stall it out and uh, avoids the back air. The nice way to avoid the setup right there from, from the down throw. Ooh, and that back throw sends it a really, really shallow angle. Yeah. It's, it's very reminiscent yeah. of a sunny spike, well, but not quite. Oh, nice counter. counter. You know, you don't really see Peltan using counter very often. Yeah, it's actually, it's like, it activates well, but a lot of the times, like, the, the way that the moves set up into it, it may not actually get the uh, counter attack right. to connect. A lot of the times it just whiffs. So that's actually really good, uh, just awareness from Chag Spargo in that case. Has Chag feeling very uncomfortable. Chag, it looks like Chag's nowhere to land right now. Oh, like, absolutely like, not. Spargo has been able to cover all of Chag's landings, and it's not exactly too, too difficult for for Palutena to land. But because Spargo is in his head right now, he is able to continue packing on damage, 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 damage. Right, he's in his head throughout this game, and you can also imagine that Chag is thinking at this point, like I'm so close to beating this guy, but he's beat me every single time. So. You know, like, I don't want this to be yet another time. All right, so now they're slowing it down a little bit. They want to kind of feel each other out, how they're going to you know, go in. But Spargo doesn't have to worry too much because he has he has well more than a stock lead right now. And even though Palutena is no stranger to getting a lot of damage on you from one combo or even just one advantage state, she can, she doesn't exactly kill, you know, under 50 like a lot of characters on this roster can. Yeah, definitely. Uh, her uh, confirms aren't going to come until a bit of a later percent. Um, see, nice, a counter. Wow, he just knew Spargo was going to go up there, uh, back onto the stage with an aerial. He just keeps covering him, the down tilt. Yeah, choked him out completely. He eliminated all of his options. The jump had previously been burned. You should see an air coming up. Yep. Oh, okay. Gets a quick two-piece conversion off the down throw. Back air. So now he's going he's playing. Going on the pace. Oh! Great bait, but unfortunately, able to get the punish. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that uh, down air was the call. F tilt again, or dash attack, excuse me. That's the other thing that got buffed. So dash attack, yeah. And I, I love how Sparta cut onto the fact that Chag was you know, jumping from the ledge. And it's very common for you know, for Palutena to want to teleport back to stage because it's, it can be difficult to punish that. And if you're not ready for it, yeah. then you just lost advantage and now you're back to neutral, which is not which is great for Palutena. Yeah, but great for any character. Of this, of course. All right, so here we go, game number two. Chag coming from the loser side. He needs to be able to win this set if he gets. Wants one other chance to take the entire tournament, so a lot of pressure on him from this side. Spargo with a little bit of wiggle room here. And this time we're seeing the Palutena because uh, earlier on in the set they played, he went on Inkling. And uh, that didn't quite work out for him, so. Who knows? They were close games, so if, if it comes down to it and he loses another game here, he may switch over to the Inkling, Ooh, see if that uh, gives him a better chance. Oh, unfortunately, not uh -oh. able to get to the... Oh, that was a good high recovery from Chag, too, to avoid the down airs. Yeah, you can tell exactly... Uh, Chag knows what 
Spargo wants how he's trying to get his KOs. The back air here in that case, really good spacing at the ledge. And just like you said earlier, Palutena and Cloud do a very, they have very similar bank points like, yeah. like you just saw. Back air from ledge yeah. because it's so great. It's not, it's very safe on shield. Yeah, and it's got a little uh, end lag if you land it properly. I mean, Palutena's a little, way less, but the way that Spargo had used that back air that he got the first stock with, it was a uh, falling back air, and he lasted, uh, just landed at the with, within the auto cancel frames. Here we go. Chad doing a great job at pushing Spargo back to ledge over and over again. Has a burn limit, and I love how he beat the up to get back into center stage, and now it's an, it's an advantage. That was great. Yeah, 94% here on Spargo. 82 on Chag. He expected the roll in. Chag not going to give it to him, though. All right. Nice dash attack, all right. Oh, he, why did he air dodge? He had the right there. Spargo had air dodged into him. And great. Nice setup with the down tilt, catching the up air. So, Spargo actually on his last life. Chag might actually have an opportunity here to even out the set count. He definitely does. He is. He's no stranger to. There we go. Now I can hear you. There we go. You got a good voice. Mm -hmm. I, I want to hear that voice. All right, all right. <laughs> well, Spargo is certainly no stranger to getting damage uh, with Cloud. Just like how Pelotonic can get a lot of damage from a single, from a strain there. And Chag got it. Here it comes. Another 60% coming right up. 58. Yeah, man. There's a Nair. Wow. Oh, and the invisible Ooh. back here coming in clutch to force Spargo into hit lag. Now, they've been doing a lot of short hops on each other. Yeah. Oh, great catch. Because they both know. They both know that their, Jump both of their aerials are super safe on shield. Oh, he tried to parry the hit of the back air. Goes right into the cross slash. Starting to rack up a little bit more damage. So, something, so what Chag is going to look for right now, he's either going to look for a really good edge guard or he's going to look for a jiggle situation where her up air is going to kill. Her up air is very strong and now her dash attack is going to be really good, but Spargo is able to hit the side Yes, beat. it is. Man, is that limit cross slash so strong at around 80%. Going to get the KO. And Chag looking a little bit like, he, he's like, dang, that killed. Like, he was surprised. I'm, I'm actually surprised. I had, I'm like, it could, but... Dang, that's early, 80%. Like. I'm guessing people are so used to Roy's, Roy's side right, killing. They yeah. forgot that Cloud's limit Yeah, right, exists. it's still the same. <laughs> but I remember for a while, too, like when people figured out that the Roy side B was that good, they were like, oh, it's basically like limit right. cross. Exactly. Yeah. So game three, Spargo has a very, very comfortable <laughs> lead right now. Chag would have to, again, all the Spargo has to do is win one. One more game. That's it. Chag has yep. to win three to reset, and then he yeah. has to win three more. Three in a row. That, right? Spargo has to has to be feeling really comfortable right now. And despite the fact that these games have been relatively close, you know, he's gonna be able to clutch out those clutch out those stocks. Yeah. That's the thing, man. Spargo just has an X factor where he's able to clutch out these stocks. He gets this momentum. He pulls off cloud conversions Double that just gone. no other cloud main has has done. That I, I just don't see any other cloud mains do. Well, uh, Oh, oh, unfortunately, man. unable to get the lead to push him back off stage. And because of that, Spargo was able to reverse the situation and put Chag into a ledge trap situation. And Limit is gone, but it doesn't matter. Back, yeah. back to ledge. So there's a couple of situations where, sure, like, you it might as well toss it out in a lot of cases, right? But I've seen some cases where Clouds will out wow. to not use the Limit because they just prefer to have the threat of it as a uh, pressure tool in itself. But... He gets the stock with the up smash. Spargo needs just two more to take this whole thing. Another Please, situation. oh, I thought we were gonna see a finishing Chag. touch, dude. I felt it in my soul. You gotta, uh, you gotta appreciate. <gasps> oh, oh, man. he's scared. He shook. Chag is falling apart right now, down to his last stock. Spargo still with his first intact. Can we get a three stock and, and a three zero? He has another thirty percent before he's in danger. But never mind. Back up. Yep. Yep. But even then. This is a really tough hill to climb, and Spargo is so good at catching the wind Chag is trying to land. This is 17.8%. Let's trap situation. Spargo can push this right back, but Chag says, no, listen, it's my turn to attack. Oh, oh my god! The weight, the patience. 
Spargo he fell through up. the platform, oh, and he punished that up. air dodge so perfectly. Finishing touch. That's mm, mm, how mm. I want to see my sets end. That's how I want to see the tournament end, and man. The finishing touch. Quite literally the finishing touch yeah. of this very, yep. very fun bracket. Really great event, man. Get in the game. 20. 20 grand champion Spargo, Chargo, uh, Chargo, Char, <laughs> Chag, uh, leaving with a, a respectable second place finish as well. Third place goes out to uh, who was it? Who was Omega, Omega Rugal. Yep. Yeah, and then AC, and then it was Poison Health, and the I don't know who else tied with him, but you want me to get in the pic a picture? Oh, give it oh. to Spargo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna give the trophy. To Spargo. the champion now. Your trophy. Two minute interview. Okay. Here we go. I'm, I'm gonna hop off the mic, man. But it was a pleasure commentating with it you. Was a pleasure great being great, on the mic. Great job uh, in tournament today, and uh, also great stuff on the mic. I had a lot of fun commentating with you. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. The feeling is definitely mutual, yeah, my yeah. friend. So hopefully we get to do it again and uh, enjoy the rest of it. Definitely follow Poison Health. Follow myself if you'd like, and I'll catch you guys later. So my Twitter's not that great. You have to follow me. Follow Spargo. Spargo is amazing, as you can tell. All right, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing on this um, on this mic anymore. There's clearly nothing else for me to commentate. Huh? Oh, never mind. I got an interview. That just goes to show. All right, Spargo. Yeah, of course. Right, I'm gonna hop off the mic. It was a pleasure being here, guys. Have a good rest of your night. Tienes que hablar directamente entre, en el micrófono. Felicidades. Gracias. Primer lugar, ¿cómo te sientes? Pues muy bien porque sí creí que iba a poder ganar. Y, sí. sí. Pues sí, eres muy, eres muy bueno. El número uno de Tijuana, ¿no? Sí, ¿verdad? Y en México entero, ¿sabes como más o menos en qué ranking quedarías? Ah. Porque todavía no ha salido el... el el PR de, de Nacional de México, ¿verdad? Sin contar... Uh, ¿Sí salió? Contando resultados, creo que soy como todo... En el área de top 20. Okay. Sí. Porque no... No fue muchos. Okay. Pero sí me fue... Pero sí ha sido. Uh, recientemente acabas de venir de... Um, ¿Cómo se llamaba? Smash Fest. Sí, ¿verdad? Y ahí también jugaste contra Chag. Sí. ¿Cómo te fue en ese set contra uh, Chag? Gané 3-1. Ya, sí. ya han jugado varias veces, ¿no? Una vez más también en, sí. en otro torneo. ¿Cuál fue ese? Uh, Delfino Massa. Delfino Massa también, que es un regional de allá de, eh, en Mazatlán, Sinaloa. Uh, for anyone not understanding, I'm just I'm talking to Spargo. I'm asking him, talking to him. They played, he's played Chag a number of times. He's beat him the last two times. Once at Delfino Massa in Mazatlán, Sinaloa, Mexico. And then uh, the other... One was in uh, Smash Fest to the Sky. Is that what it's called? And that was um, where was that at? In donde fue eso? Querétaro. In Querétaro. And uh, of course, just here again. Dos veces aquí, no? Oh, sí, dos veces también. Y entonces, cómo te sientes en, en ese match en particular? Es más difícil su 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 palutena o su su inkling porque ya he visto que ha como cambiado mucho entre esos dos personajes y no, no le ha dado. Pues, 
creo que ya tengo como, ya sé cómo juega su mm. estilo de juego. Y se pues, nota, sí. Ajá, no, creo que ya no se me dificulta tanto como antes. Okay. Y, no sé. Uh -huh. Bueno. Yeah, I just asked them, you know, like, in terms of uh, the Palatina and the Inkling, like, which has been harder for him? And he says that he's pretty much just kind of, like, picked up on his play style. So it... it Either one, it's not really as difficult as it was the first few times that he's played them, I and you can really tell uh, just from the last set that they played just now is a dominant, pretty dominant 3-0, uh, even with some of those games being close. Uh, Algo que quieras decir? ¿A dónde vas? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál va a ser tu próximo torneo grande uh, que vayas a ir? Va a haber un invitacional en Puebla, México, mm -hmm. y van a estar todos los tops de, Mex de México. Va a estar Meister, Meme, Joker, mm -hmm. uh, Chuck, Bedgar. So uh, there's an invitational in. Uh, Puebla, México, which is the uh, where Smash Factor is hosted as well. ¿Cómo se llama este torneo? Uh, Vertex. ¿Cuándo va a ser? Uh, la próxima semana. Vertex. So Vertex next week. I assume it's going to be on the Smash Factor gaming stream. And uh, tune into that. Uh, he's going to be there. A lot of the top players from Mexico are going to be there. Leo? Leo? Uh, Meister? Meister. No, Meister. Meister. ¿Quién más va a estar? Uh, Leo, digo, no. Meme, Joker, Chag, Bedgar. Chag, Bedgar. Uh -huh. So, mu muchos de los tops de México, a lot of the top players from Mexico are, 